Hi everyone, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your spiritual guidance for the week of March 4th, 2018. I can't believe that we are already in March. It's crazy how time flies. Um, all right, so today for the spiritual guidance video, I'm going to be drawing one card from the Earth Magic deck by Stephen Farmer as the overarching theme, and then from the Tarot of the Spirit deck by Pamela and Joyce Eakins, one card in the position of what your ego might try to distract you with, one card in the position of what our heart is asking that we explore further, and one card in the position of what we can look forward to regardless. So let's go ahead and get started. And just to give everyone an update, I am almost done with my Oracle card and Tarot card courses, uh, beginning and intermediate and advanced. So I'm super excited <laughs> to have those to share with you soon. Um, they'll be available for purchase on the website in the next two weeks, I believe. They are so fun. <laughs> they look so good. I think that everyone's going to really like them. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> the spiritual guidance for the week of March 4th, 2018. This is for all astrological signs. We're looking at the general energies moving through the week. Okay, so we have submerged iceberg under the deck. And we have dream time as the main focus for the week. Creation. Well, it certainly works for me in terms of creation. I've been having so much fun creating this course for everyone, um, these two courses. But um, beyond myself, <laughs> let's look at this for the everyone else. Um, well, it looks like, you know, as, as I mentioned, with um, this heavy focus on creation, um, the first thing that came to mind was how much creativity I've been experiencing. But even for everyone else, even if you aren't feeling particularly creative, it looks like this week you can tune in to your dreams um, to your reflections, um, to any guidance that you may receive when you are in meditation as sparks, let's say, for creation. A lot of times we have so much emphasis uh, on um, doing, 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 um, pro productivity, let's see concrete evidence of things, that many times we forget that when we are resting, when we are reflecting, that time out of time let's say allows for creation allows for things to come to conscious awareness so that we can take action upon them but you have to be still you have to allow yourself time to reflect in order to create and that's often looked down upon <laughs> for some reason uh, you know if you see someone who's quietly reflecting uh, sometimes you're like why won't, why won't you go and do something you need to move you need to go do things you need to prove your worth out in the world and you know sometimes that's true but there there's a rhythm to life and sometimes it's time to reflect now creation means action usually as well right so it's not just about doing nothing but it's about taking time to understand imagery symbolism that comes to you during the dream state so that you can move forward and take action upon it um, we have that iceberg under the deck submerged uh, things are coming up as I mentioned previously in other readings, everything coming up into conscious awareness to be healed, to be transformed, to be enacted upon. So it should be an interesting week. I love that uh, Dreamtime creation card. Um, we have the Aboriginal here um, with the uh, didgeridoo, it looks like, uh, creating uh, music, we'll say. And there may be an emphasis on this week, too, of understanding uh, different cultures, um, remembering that sometimes where your feet are on the ground, you begin to overly identify with everything around you. But remember that there's a million different ways to live a life. There's a million different places to stand upon the ground, uh, to be upon the water. So open your mind <laughs> this week to different ways of being create, create, creative. A lot of times we get stuck in a rut. And then we're like, I can't, you know, I can't think my way out of this. Well, sometimes you're not meant to think your way out. You're meant to feel your way out through your creativity. Is there a creative solution? But in order to feel and understand new creativity, you have to move your body into a different position. So this week you may want to uh, mix up your routine a little bit as well so that you can be more creative. If you always wake up and you always use the same coffee mug and you always sit at the same spot and you always have the same food, it's very hard to be creative sometimes um, when we are in that familiarity. So mix it up a little bit. If you always order French roast, maybe uh, 
order Italian roast <laughs> or get a Colombian coffee or something. This is one small example, obviously. Okay, so what may our what might our ego try to distract us with during the week? What about our, what does our heart want us to explore further based on this dream time? And what can we look forward to or expect regardless? All right, so we have the six of earth in reverse. We have the four of earth in reverse. And we have the flood, the four of water in reverse. And we have the high priestess in reverse under the deck. All right, so we have the heart may try to distract us with the six of earth, which is beauty in this deck. Our heart is asking that we explore further the four of earth, which is power. And... What we can look forward to, regardless, is the four of water, the flood. <laughs> well, what I love about the flood is that, you know, we have here, we have the iceberg, right? We have submerged. We have this focus in on things being hard and um, not everything coming up yet. And then we have the flood, the floodgates opening, creativity, right? You're being flooded with information. You're being flooded with the um, opportunity to create change, to... Um, have more agency within self, which is really, really nice. Um, now, the ego may try to distract us with the six of earth, the beauty card. So when it's in reverse, uh, it may be, I think we've had this card recently um, from another deck in the past couple weeks, but the six of earth in, in reverse here, the ego may try to distract you with um, where you feel as though... Um, let me put it this way. The ego may try to distract you with this idea that um, you're not ever going to get what you ask for or that when you uh, give to someone else, you're never going to get back what you were expecting in return. So it's going to be important for you to identify this within self because if during the week you realize or you're coming to this egoic conclusion that I'm always giving and I don't ever get it back. You may want to consider um, your own agendas, you know, for giving to others, for reaching out to help others. Are you giving to others in order to just give out of sheer magnanimity? Or are you giving in order to feel better about yourself? Are you giving to someone in order to try to make them do something better with their lives, right? That you have um, decided is the thing that will help them. Because many times when we go to help people, we don't help them to make them feel better. We help them to make us feel more com comfortable. And what I mean by this is that sometimes we give to people um, who we see struggling because we don't like the idea that they're struggling. We don't, we, there's a self, there's a judgment there that they need to do it differently so that we can feel better. <laughs> and we're not necessarily conscious of it, but it's energetically, it's what we're doing. So they feel judged. And meanwhile, we're like, I told you what to do. I gave you the money. Why aren't you taking care of it? And it's like, um, hello, I never asked for that. And, um, you're certainly, you know, levying a lot of judgment upon me because I'm not doing it in the way that you think is right and true for me. A lot of, a lot there. Um, and then we have the four of earth, which is the heart is asking that we explore further, which is power. And it is in reverse. So the four of earth in reverse actually is a really nice card because things are opening up. We are no longer closed down, clinging to what was familiar, but we are open to new possibilities, which goes nicely with this idea, which I talked about already of creation, of um, looking at things differently, expanding our worldview, having our, planting our feet in a different spot, sitting in a different seat, having different drinks ordering different foods, um, having different conversations, um, pushing ourselves out of our comfort zones so that we can um, open ourselves up to more creativity, more inspiration. And that's really, really nice. And that is where the power lies. You know, we have power. So there may be that there's been an imbalance of power as well um, with this. You know, you may be, again, seeing like you're always receiving help from someone. It could also be this, this card. Um, someone's always giving to you, trying to help you up. But really, they're helping you up in a way that um, they have deemed the way to help you. Whereas you're like, um, no, I want to be helped with in this way. This is what's helpful to me, not charity, um, but actual tools or resources that I can utilize for myself, not that I have to utilize in the way that you have decided is right for me. That maybe is um, infantilizing to the, you know, to you. Um, perennially putting you in, in a position of being less than 
or dependent upon someone else. Lot there. <laughs> um, but again, the four of water reverse, the flood. You're no longer feeling a sense of apathy here is what we're, we're seeing. Things are open. You're, you're opening up. The heart is saying, look where you can open up. Look where you can look at um, the power that you have within you already by your creativity, by the resources that you already have within you. You know, many times we're, we feel as though I have to have resources um, in order to create, in order to uh, change uh, or um, make things different. And that may be true, but you can also shift it just a little bit out of the ego of lack and into the heart, which is always having. And you can say, all right, with the resources that I have available to me now, how can I create change? How can I create the thing that I'm wanting to create in the world? How can I open up to more inspiration, more, in, more, in, more intuitive guidance, um, more creative nudges, right? Um, so play with it, you know. We also have the high priestess under the deck. It may be too with the high priestess under the deck here that you are receiving uh, uh, some gossip or you are receiving bad advice from somebody, um, someone who thinks that they know. It goes back to what I said here with the six of pentacles in reverse, which is, you know, people want to help you sometimes uh, or you want to help others sometimes in a way that you have deemed the right way <laughs> based on your own life experiences. But remember that everyone has uh, different experiences and different understandings and that even though you think that you've gone through it um, and you know what they need, you don't. You haven't walked in their shoes. You don't know. You might think you know, but you don't know. So you might just want to check it a little bit. And again, it may be that someone is, is doing this with, for you, someone who wants to, you know, from the benefit of my experience, this is what you need to do. And this is how much money you need. This is, these are the resources you need. And you're thinking, that's helpful. And I know it comes from a good place, but it's not actually helpful. <laughs> it's more of a short-term solution. And it makes them feel better, possibly, but not necessarily. Um, it doesn't help to um, set you on a path of more empowerment. So there's a lot of information there <laughs> to take in. Um, but let's just bring it back to the basics where your heart is asking that you explore further because this is where you will gain the most power. This is where you will feel more powerful is in your opening up, in your ability to no longer cling out of fear to familiar patterns, familiar relationships uh, that may feel imbalanced or maybe um, create a sense of um, obligation within you to someone else. The heart is saying, look at, look at where I can open up where I can share my resources with an open heart, where I can receive resources <laughs> with an open heart as well, um, but mostly about sharing um, this idea of um, opening up uh, no longer. And it may be that you also experienced this week that people are also more willing to open up to you um, here. And this is what the flood is. <laughs> this is what opens this up. Um, we do have two fours, so it's very foundational for you. Um, for all of us during the week, um, we're trying to create something, you know, that will have, will stand the test of time, that has legs, let's say, um, with the fours. So uh, it's important this week to really pay attention to where you can open up in the moment. If you're having a conversation with someone and um, you want to squirrel away or hold on to your emotions or um, your resources, out of just familiarity or apathy or just unconscious um, behaviors, you can even in the moment say, okay, wait, is this an opportunity for me to open up a little bit? You know, and you can, you, you can begin the process. Maybe you say something a little differently or you hear them a little differently or you give them a, the benefit of the doubt, whereas in the past you haven't, depending upon what is going on. So it's a lot there <laughs> for the week. Um, it all came in very, very quickly. It's a, sort of a massive download. So I mean, you may want to listen to the recording a few times to make sure you got it all, uh, as I will. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope that you find that helpful. I hope you have a wonderful week. Open up as best you can. Um, be aware of um, people or even yourself when you are trying to give to someone in order to, um, out of kind of a judgment or out of your own idea of what you think that they need without really checking in with what might be most helpful. And the same with if someone's trying to um, help you in that way as well. So, all right, much love.